Hello, welcome to another video. Today we are introducing Lithizem. Lithizem is an emerging research-driven entity that is engaged in exploring mineral ore in Africa. The Great Dyke is a linear geological feature that trends nearly north-south through the center of Zimbabwe, passing just to the west of the capital Harar. It consists of a band of short, narrow ridges and hills spanning for approximately 550 kilometers or 340 miles. The hills become taller as the range goes north and reach up to 460 meters above the Mvowe range. The range is host to vast ore deposits, including gold, silver, chromium, platinum, nickel, and asbestos. Geologically, the Great Dyke is not a dike but is lopolithic and I-shaped in cross-section. It is a group of layered ultramafic intrusions that extend across Zimbabwe with a strike of about N20E. The width of the intrusions varies from 3 to 12 kilometers. The Great Dyke is unusual in that most ultramafic layered intrusions display near horizontal sill or sheet forms. The well-layered lower units of ultramafic rocks comprising the Great Dyke are locally overlain by erosional remnants of gabbroic rock. These mark the centers of the four subchambers within the Great Dyke magma system, namely from north to south, using Yezi, Darwindale, Sabakwe, and Wedza. Each of these subchambers has an elongate, doubly plunging synclinal structure and was fed by a feeder dike continuous below almost the entire Great Dyke. Stratigraphically, each subchamber is divided into a lower ultramafic sequence of dunites, harzburgites, olivine bronzotites, and peroxonites together with narrow layers of chromatite that constitute the basis of cyclic units and that are extensively mined along the Great Dyke at an upper mafic sequence, mainly consisting of a variety of plagioclase rich rocks, such as norites, gabronorites, and olivine gabbros. The dike lies within the Zimbabwe Craton and has been dated at 2, 575 billion years old, 5. The Great Dyke acts as a strain marker for the Craton. The fact that it has been underformed since intrusion shows that the Craton had stabilized by the time the dike intruded. Two mafic dikes, the east and Umvimila, flank the Great Dyke to the east and west respectively. Volcanic surface manifestation of the Great Dyke event has not been recorded and have probably been eroded. Soils on the Great Dyke are strongly influenced by the underlying bedrock. Shallow, infertile lithosols over ultramafic rock dominate the northern and southern ends. Best for agriculture are those reddish-brown granular clays developed over mafic rock in the central area. Ultramafic rock in the central area supports a complex association of moderately deep to deep dark self-churning clay and moderately deep reddish-brown kerlin-rich clay. The Great Dyke is a strategic economic resource with significant quantities of chrome and platinum. Chromite occurs to the base of the ultramafic sequence and is mined throughout the dike. Below the ultramafic mafic sequence's contact and in the uppermost pyroxenite units are economic concentrations of nickel, copper, cobalt, gold, and platinum group metals, PGM. The base metals occur as disseminated intercumulus iron nickel copper sulfides within an interval referred to as the base metal subzone, below which is a sublayer enriched in platinum group metals called the PGE subzone. The base metal and PGE subzones together make up the main sulfide zone. We are looking to collaborate with other researchers who are aiming to position themselves in the market from 2025 and beyond. As we build our community, we will build the opportunity to influence the world around us. Thank you everybody for supporting the Lithizem channel. Please like, subscribe and comment as this will help the YouTube algorithm. Thank you, we will see you all next time.